Hey folks, and welcome back to Glenn and Adrian's Rock Talk. That's Adrian. And that's Glenn. And today we're going to go back to Rush and take another look at a track off of Permanent Waves album from 1980. We're going to take a look at Natural Science. And this comes from the Snakes and Arrows tour. I believe we just saw one from that tour. It's one of the better tours to see these songs now. It's actually a really wonderful thing that Rush recorded a whole bunch of concerts after the year 2000, uh, where they re-featured all these tracks that maybe had fallen off the set lists over the years and just bunched them all together into these different concerts and tried to make them diverse enough that there weren't that many repeats, aside from your Tom Sawyers and Spirit of Radios, you know. And they covered a lot of ground. So we're really thankful about that. So, Adrian, have you seen this song performed live before? I've never seen this performed live. It's it's one of my favorite songs on Permanent Waves. Good, okay. Yeah. Well, it'll be interesting to see them actually doing it. So. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. So, like, this is now natural science, eh?
What'd you think? That was awesome. You know, hearing, hearing that song played live, you know, just the way they played it, you know, it was a little, it was a little different from the record, but not really that much. I agree. I mean, it sounds pretty good for, for three guys, you know, <laughs> up there recreating it. I mean, they're, they're, they're famous for that. Yeah. I don't know that I've ever seen them play that song on video myself. So it's great to see that. I know this is the first time for me. And, uh, you know, it's just I, I noticed there was there seemed to be an absence of synth, absence of keyboards. There was a little bit, but not that much. It's true. Yeah. And some of those songs on that record it, are kind of like that, like Free Will. I don't know if that has a lot of synth on it, it but it has a little, you know, it has like... I think, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of the same here. And I think Entre New, too, is kind of like that. Mm. If, I'm, yeah. if I don't, you know, like it might be part of, you know, the riff or something, but then it goes away. You know? Yeah. <laughs> kind of the same. Yeah, it doesn't dominate like, like it seemed to, to later on. Yeah. Yeah, so at this point, I guess they're really still a uh, guitar-based band. You yeah. Know? No major keys, but there were some. And there always had been some at this point. I mean, they'd always had them around since, well, at least 2112. Four albums or something by that time. So I want to take a quick look at Neil's lyrics. Tide Pools, Hyperspace, I think is the second one. Hyperspace, that's right. Yep. And then the third one is Permanent Waves. Okay. Permanent Waves, yeah. I didn't remember that one. Yeah, I knew that that was nature-based, you know, um, and we'll get to that. Let me just take a quick peruse through these. So tide pools, when the ebbing tide retreats along the rocky shoreline, it leaves a trail of tidal pools in a short-lived galaxy, each microcosmic planet a complete society. Wild. All the busy little creatures chasing out their destinies, yeah, living in their pools, they soon forget about the sea. See, that's pretty deep. Yeah. <laughs> No pun intended, you're talking about water. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But you know how people get stuck in their own routines. Yeah, so the next one, hyperspace, starts with a quantum leap forward in time and in space. The universe learned to expand. And how about this? This is 1980, and he says, computerized clinic for superior cynics who danced to a synthetic band. Oh, my. Like, this is before the Human League, you know, <laughs> like, and, uh, and the Eurythmics and Thomas Dolby and... Oh, yeah. I don't know that they were actually referencing, but it's just interesting, synthetic sounding bands. I mean, for that time period, that's what it felt like, you know, when the synthesizers were starting to take over and the drum machines. And this would have been at the very beginning. And I mean, computerized, who would have been thinking computerized in 1980? You know, I mean, I guess Radio Shack's TRS-80 came out that year. That's the only thing I, but I think this album was actually recorded in 1979. Anyway, very interesting. And then, then the last bit, of course, is called Permanent Waves. And it goes, science like nature must also be tamed with a view towards its preservation. Given the same state of integrity, it will surely serve us well. Pretty optimistic. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, you know, I hope he's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll see how it goes, I guess, you know. I guess so. <laughs> yeah. Another amazing lyric sheet. And, of course, the song itself is, is a masterpiece. I think we can agree on that anyway. Yeah. Two of us can, anyway. <laughs> Anybody out there disagrees or has other thoughts, please leave them below. would be interested in hearing what you think about the song and the performance. Uh, if you have suggestions for us, please leave those below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you enjoyed our presentation, please subscribe. Okay. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll catch you on the next one. All right. Take care, folks. See you all later.